So I want to encourage the Honorable Jimmy Angwenyi to continue, sit with the grandchildren, listen to them, then you will give them further advice next week. Honorable Sankok. Once again, thank you very much, Honorable Speaker, for giving me this opportunity, especially in this very important uh, day in our calendar, in the calendar of this country, a constitutional moment. Honorable Speaker, and you are right, because at 1.30, we, already, we are already had enough quorum. Honorable Speaker, and from the onset, I want to say that I do support this particular bill, uh, and it will... Uh, I do support Honorable Speaker uh, because it's very important so that we move forward together as a country. Honorable Speaker, we do have a few issues with it, but of course no document will ever be perfect. One of them is on the issue of inclusivity, Honorable Speaker. In the issue of inclusivity, Honorable Speaker, we are tending to create around three more positions, making it five positions, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, if we talk of our problem that we developed in this country, which is ethnic uh, negativity, Honorable Speaker, then we will only be able to include five tribes and exclude 37 other tribes, Honorable Speaker, and that one may be equated to exclusivity, not inclusivity, Honorable Speaker. So, Honorable Speaker, in future, if we have to amend this or constitution, Honorable Speaker, we'll think of inclusivity in terms of uh, probably having the president being a man, the deputy president being a woman, the prime minister being a person with disability, the deputy prime minister being a youth, so that we can really bring the real issue of inclusivity. Because if we bring inclusivity in terms of tribes, it will end up being exclusivity, Honorable Speaker, because we have more than 42 tribes in this country. We cannot all of them have uh, uh, all of them being in the apex of leadership, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, and uh, why I talk of the Prime Minister, Honorable Speaker position, I was, uh, I was, I, I, I may vie in 2032 as a running mate, no, 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 crawling mate to Moses Kuri, Honorable Speaker, you know I'll not run faster than him. Honorable Speaker, this issue of uh, the winner, take it all, Honorable Speaker. This is the point of an honorable Emilio Diambo. Aye. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I do not want to interfere with uh, Honorable Sankok, especially because he's speaking very well about inclusivity. He's just forgotten to include uh, the intersex. But having said that, Mr. Speaker, I want to just seek your direction, Mr. Speaker. Based on what um, the guidance that you have given, as a matter of fact, I didn't come in the morning and I didn't, uh, I've not even actually put a request today. I was just interested in listening to, to members. Because I'm under the impression that when you are dealing with a constitutional matter, so long as there is still interest, every member will speak. But your pronouncement seems to suggest otherwise. Just so that I know, uh, Mr. Speaker, so that even if I don't get a chance to speak, then at least I go on record that I didn't get time, Mr. Speaker. I come from a human rights background, and it is important to know that if I've not got an opportunity, to speak, it's because there was no time. And also, if super people ask me why I didn't speak, it's because I didn't have time. So perhaps if you can just give us an indication that I've not spoken, I spoke on the issue of um, um, yesterday, it was um, a point of order. I didn't speak substantively to the issues. So, and I do not also want to interfere with the members. Me, I came very late today. So what is the point so that we, we, we don't take too much of it? Because time. majority leader keeps uh, interfering with me so that I'm not very clear on what I'm saying. Mr. Speaker, what I'd like to know, because ordinarily when we are discussing a constitutional matter, so long as members show interest, so what I would want to know is, will we continue? Maybe I missed that out. Will we continue? And that that's there for me that we can continue to next week because we'll not finish today. You know, Honorable Milio Diambo, you know, you know, I, I know, and I know you, you could be having some problem because you are not, uh, your background is uh, human rights, not arithmetics. 
uh, now it is almost 5 p.m. Every member speaking for 15 minutes. I have 75 requests pending, 76. Uh, and I've indicated that uh, it is my desire to see as many of you as desire to speak to this, to this bill, speak, get a chance to speak. So that, that, I think that, that should um, suffice. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Is there, is it, maybe, Honorable Mili, there is a problem with the mask. <laughs> I can see you shaking your head. <laughs> you, it, it will continue. It will, it will continue. <laughs> thank you, Honorable Speaker, and I think you will add me. Yeah, I will add, add you your three minutes. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. You know, yesterday, I was forced to speak uh, in, uh, in my mother tongue, Kimasai, in this house, because, Honorable Speaker, uh, we are now outsiders in the government that we really uh, struggle to form, courtesy of ODM, Honorable Speaker, and the professional ODM uh, hecklers cannot come again and heckle us down in this house, Honorable Speaker. They should give us enough time to speak, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, the, I was speaking before I was rudely interrupted on the issue of the winner, take it all, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, when it comes to the winner, take it all, Honorable Speaker. An election is a competitive process, Honorable Speaker. In, in any competition, there is always a winner and a loser, Honorable Speaker. We cannot have a competition that will not, because that will not be the democracy. And that is why, it, in democracy, the, the majority will have their way and the minority will have their say. That is the spirit of democracy. In democracy, there must be a winner and there must be a loser. We cannot have an election process that will not have a winner. So I will uh, a winner and a loser, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, at times, the winner have 40%. 40, 40%. The losers, in combined, have 60%, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, if you see that these are the losers, Honorable Speaker, then you will find that we cannot what, solve what this the, issue of the winner take everything. On a point of order, yeah? Mr. Mr. Speaker, a member was speaking to you when Honorable Sankoko was speaking. Mr. Speaker, this is the National Assembly of the Republic of Kenya. We are not in the, somewhere else outside there, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, some of the statements that Honorable Sankoko is making here cannot be parliamentary, Mr. Speaker. Calling other, they are derogatory, Mr. Speaker. Calling other members here hecklers, people who have come to heckle here, ODM members here, who have come to professional hecklers of ODM, who have come, Mr. Speaker, this man, Mr. Speaker, has decided to go rogue, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. I withdraw, Honorable Speaker. I do withdraw. And, 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 and apologize. You know, there was a time Honorable Junior called himself a cow. I did not call him so. It is not also parliamentary. So, Honorable Speaker, I have talked about that. Uh, the winner take it all, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker. And again, this uh, uh, bill will cure the issue of post-election violence, Honorable Speaker, because Kenyans are very peaceful, Honorable Speaker. They are always very peaceful, Honorable Speaker. Before and after election, we live in peace, we intermarry, we borrow sugar from each other, we farm together, we work together, we do everything together, even our ceremonies we do together, Honorable Speaker, as Kenyans. But it only happen that we have violence just after election, Honorable Speaker. After the announcement of the election uh, results, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, and we have to be genuine to ourselves. As, as much as we know that this bill will really cure this issue, Honorable Speaker, we have to be genuine to ourselves and know that where, who is the single denominator of violence, Honorable Speaker, in this country, Honorable Speaker. Who was in 1982, coup, Honorable Speaker, whose name appeared, Honorable Speaker? Who was in 1997, Honorable Speaker? Who, whose name appeared in 2007, Honorable Speaker? Whose name appeared in 2013 and 2017, Honorable Speaker? Because we can cure, we can cure our post-election violence if we become genuine and true to ourselves, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, which name was missing in 2002 when we had a, a change of regime, Honorable Speaker, and it was very peaceful, Honorable Speaker. 
and there was no violence, Honorable Speaker, in 2002. So which is this common and single denominator of that particular violence period in Kenyan history, Honorable Speaker? And I can say without fear of contradiction that the single, you don't have to look far, the single denominator of violence went to Kibaki and shook hands and were peaceful. It means that there is a denominator of what violence. Is it? What is it? Again, what is it? after shooking hands what? with the Uru, then we have to we yes, maintain Honorable peace. Bandi. There is a single denominator of violence, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, yes, on the issue of Honorable Bandi, what is it? What's your point of order? You see, what has happened? Give Honorable Bandi. You just uh, which uh, Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I think we need to ensure decorum in this house, and we need to realize and understand that this is August House. Mr. Speaker, the way Honorable Sankok is progressing with this contribution is stirring emotions for nothing, is bringing issues that this country is trying to forget is trying to insinuate that Raila Odinga is a cause of violence and problems in this country by saying that he went to Kibaki and shook hands and now he's going to Uhuru and shaking hands. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Sankok is a beneficiary of consideration of persons with disability, courtesy of Raila Odinga. And the way he's behaving, Mr. Speaker, is causing shame to the team that is representing this country, I don't, is a disgrace, Mr. Speaker. And I wonder why he believes that any time he attacks Raila Odinga, he raises his profile. That is a cheap way of trying to cut an image in this house. Some of us have where we are because of constructive, meaningful, professional, intelligent contributions, Mr. Speaker. And someone who claims to have gone through the University of Nairobi and studied medicine should do much better than what you are doing, Mr. Mr. What he's doing, Mr. Speaker. I want to urge on Sankok to get back to the debate of the BBI bill and contribute on behalf of the people he represents. Since he started speaking, I have not heard anything he has talked about regarding persons living with a disability. You are not nominated to this house to be a flower girl. You are supposed to represent the constituency for which you are nominated. Now, now, can... You know the problem I'm having is that too many, too, too, too many people. Thank you very much. Me, I'm not able to follow. Thank you very much, Honourable Speaker. Yeah. Honourable Speaker, uh, just to bring you into speed, I said that Kenya had violence in 1982. I was four years old at that time, and there was somebody who was mentioned at that time. There was violence in 1997. There was violence in 2007, 2013, 2017, and I said that we cannot wait for the hands to shook. For us to be peaceful as a country, we need to instill, you know, you know, Kalonzo Musyoka shook hands with Uhuru. Why are they, Kalonzo Musyoka did shook hands with Kibaki. Yeah, they shook hands. So, so I, I, I don't know why the guilty one are feeling, you know, if you are guilty, then you are guilty as charged, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, on the issue of, uh, uh, in, Representation, honor, honorable, honor speaker. Members. honorable Speaker, on the issue of representation, Honorable uh, Speaker, order, order members, we order also members. need in this country, and I think Mbadi did not hear that I mentioned that the position of the Prime Minister should be left for a person with disability, and I am again saying that we should have an electoral college to elect persons with disability, and I had even proposed this one in the tax for honorable speaker that is like that one that is in uganda so that person with disability when they come into this house as leaders honorable speaker they have representation they have been elected by person with disability whom they represent so that the loyalty of a member of parliament does not only lies on the party but also lie on uh, those whom you represent honorable speaker because currently through nomination honorable speaker you are just loyal to the party that nominated you, Honorable Speaker. But if we have an electoral college 
like what happened in Uganda, Honorable Speaker, then you are elected by those whom you represent, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, this bill is very good, especially on the issue of patriotism, Honorable Speaker. We should actually be patriotic to our, our country, and our patriotism should come from within us, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I would have expected that in this uh, BBI bill, because we are fronting the issue of uh, patriotism, Honorable Speaker, instead of us uh, fronting the issue of uh, BBI using some uh, songs that is called Jui Reggae and so on, Honorable Speaker, we will have used songs like Tushangili, Kenya, Taif, something like that, Honorable Speaker, to instill some level of uh, patriotism in us, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, and there was a time that we were actually supposed to have a national dress, Honorable Speaker. So, Honorable Speaker, even in that one, Honorable Speaker, I think it is very important for us to be able to be patriotic, so this bill uh, do, do address uh, those issues, and I really uh, do support that particular bill, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I have analyzed this uh, bill. I've read from page one to the last page, Honorable Speaker. And this bill, Honorable Speaker, I have not seen anywhere that will require a referendum, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, so I urge the members of this House that let us pass this bill, and I will urge the President to assent to it, it will become law. Instead of us going to a referendum, Honorable Speaker, we can do, deal, do with it, and we can uh, uh, just start implementing it straight away so that we can benefit from the 70 extra constituency, Honorable Speaker, so that person with disability may get the position of the Prime Minister and the youth, the Deputy Prime Minister, Honorable Speaker, so that we move forward as a country and cure our post-election uh, uh, violence and any vi violence that uh, normally rob us as a country. So, Honorable Speaker, I do support this bill. Thank you.